Um, so which of the following vascular structures is most likely to be involved in the development of this patient's intracerebellar hemorrhage? So a six-year-old woman with a history of hypertension presents with a sudden severe headache and nausea. She has no history of intracranial lesions or vascular malformation. Um, the CT scan reveals the intracellular hemorrhage in the left thalamus. Um, okay, so diagnosis of this patient is obviously the um, cerebral, intracerebral hemorrhage in the left thalamus. Okay. Um, so right now, I can just remove the vein. I'm just going to focus on like the artery part of it. Okay. The left thalamus. I want to say that so she has no history of this at all. I'm thinking large intracranial arteries. Okay. Just because I think that just that area of the brain is very oxygenated. Okay. Okay. I don't know if like my thought process is like correct, but I think just because that part of the brain is very oxygenated, so I'm thinking it could be just like large intracranial arteries. Okay. I that like that. Goes there. Okay. You want to stick with D? Out of all the other ones, I'll stick with D. Yeah. Okay, good. So I uh, the reason why I said good is I like that you are are kind of making kind of a story that makes sense, right? You're like, oh, in my mind, I'm picking D because it's well oxygenated, so it could be big blood supply. So that makes mm -hmm. sense to me, okay? The reason why it's actually E, a better answer is E, is because it says that intracerebral hemorrhage in the left thalamus, and I remember the thalamus is going to be very, very deep in the brain. And so mm -hmm. um, when you have very deep portions of the brain, it's usually small penetrating arterioles, okay? And if you have chronic hypertension, right? Um, over time, it can weaken the vessel walls and then cause them to rupture. But large kind of um, large intro, uh, intracranial um, arteries, major blood supply of the brain, um, cerebral accidents like strokes, um, you know, mm -hmm. aneurysm, subarachnoid hemorrhage, but less likely to cause uh, hypertensive intracranial hemorrhage. So just think of high blood pressure is your risk factor here. And usually high blood pressure um, is going to affect the smaller vessels more than the larger ones. Okay. Okay. I All see. right. And just remember the thalamus is deep. And so they always like, you know, the basal ganglia, the thalamus that's deep in the brain. And so they're always trying to test on those small arteries that, that penetrate deep in the brain. Okay. Okay. But good. So far, so good. 